What's up guys, I'm Rissim from RossBirdTech.com. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well today too. Now today I have an exciting video for you guys. The reason I have an exciting video for you guys is because I have a brand new single board computer right here. Dun, dun. It's from NanoPi. This is the NanoPi Neo Plus 2. NanoPi was kind enough to send me this off a review. I'm really grateful. And today we're going to do unboxing. I'm going to show you the board compared to the Raspberry Pi. And we're also going to boot it for the first time. So let's get started. All right, guys. So this is the NanoPi Neo Plus 2. Let me flip it around. Got the logo right there, NanoPi. Got a nice green case. It looks like the Raspberry Pi cases. I'll show you a Raspberry Pi case like right now. I think the Raspberry Pi is a little bit more bulkier. So if I put them two together, they're just almost the same the Raspberry Pi got a little more height to it so let's just open it up let's turn this around let's take everything out all right so case is empty box is empty now this is the quick the first thing you see is the nano pie quick start guide pretty cool let's open it up pretty much shows you how to set it up and everything gives you a description of all the components and stuff like that and the specs and it's got this wire I think here I'm not sure what it is right now but it looks like an antenna, so let's just put this aside. Inside here is the Pi itself. Let's just get the Nano Pi out, throw this aside. Now, all single board computers come in this anti-static, like sealed type bags. I got like a million of them, I save them, I never throw them away. So you never know when you're gonna need them. All right, let's get a better look at the board right here. So on the top, all right, let's look at the top here. We got two USB 2.0 ports and one gigabit ethernet port right there. On the sides, you can see these are the GPIO pins. You got two sets of them on both sides, one set here, one set here. I'm gonna go into more details later on, but let's look at the bottom. On the bottom of the device here, we have two ports. The first port is the micro USB port. This is what powers the device. Plug in the micro USB port right into the wall, and that's how you power the board. Next to that is the micro SD port right here. So right next to that. Let's look at the back of the board. All right guys, so this is the back of the board and it's got three chips. The first chip is right here. This is the RAM. It's got one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM. This chip right here, this is the SOC, the processor. It says H5. It's a quad core 1.5 gigahertz processor. I'm gonna talk more about that later on. And right underneath that, this is the storage. We've got onboard storage. We don't need the micro SD card to load the operating system. We can load it onto the storage right here. It's eight gigabytes of EMMC storage. All right guys, now we're actually gonna set up the Nano Pi Neo Plus 2. We're gonna download the operating operating system to do that we're gonna open up our browser and I got a few links open here the first link is the actual like official web page for the nano plus new it's uh, www.friendlyarms.com and um, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description but this page is actually pointing to the nano pi neo plus 2 the raspberry pi is way bigger than the nano pi neo plus 2 but the nano pi neo plus 2 is way more money it's like another ten dollars almost ten dollars more and we're gonna scroll down Again, this is a comparison with the Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna scroll down again. I'm gonna go over the specs, a few of the specs. Now I'm gonna do another video where I compare the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus to, to this board. And uh, it's gonna be a full comparison. I'm, I'm gonna compare it by uh, benchmarking. We're gonna run a bunch of benchmarks. We're gonna compare the specs. I'm gonna go into detail about every component, about both boards. So I'm not gonna talk too much about the specs in this video. So I'm only gonna give you the first like three specs, the first three main ones, like the processor, RAM, and storage. So it's rocking a SOC all winner. H5 quad core 64 bit high performance Cortex A53 processor and it's clocked in at 1.5 gigahertz and it's got one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM and it's got onboard storage EMMC storage so you don't really need a SD card you can flash the storage and run operating systems that way but in this video we're not going to use this option right here we, we're, we're going to flash our micro SD card so Let's move on to the next step. Now we're going to scroll all the way up. We want to click on downloads right here. Then now we're going to find our board, the Nano Pi Neo Plus 2. It's this right here. I'm going to click on this download link, the, uh, Google Drive. I'm going to use Google Drive. Why not? Now we want the official ROMs, not the unofficial ROMs. We want the official ones. So click on the official ROM. It's got five different ROMs. I'm just going to click the first one. The first one here, this is uh, Debian Jesse. And uh, it's got an eFlasher. It's got a friendly core. It's got Ubuntu OLED and Ubuntu TFT. I'm just gonna run this one here. The Debian Jesse, that's more of a Raspberry Pi like uh, OS. So I wanna compare it to the Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna run this and install this ROM here. So to download it, I'm gonna right click it and we're gonna click on download. And if it asks you to scan for viruses, blah, 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 just click on 
download anyway. Now the download is starting as you can see, it's starting down here. It's, it's gonna take a couple of minutes to download, it's a few gigabytes long, but give it some time. Once it's finished downloading, I'm gonna come right back. As that's downloading, we're gonna download a few more things. So this link will be in the description. Uh, we need Win32 Disk Imager. This will allow us to burn the image onto the SD card. Again, this is Win32 Disk Imager. This is the link right here. I'll leave a link in the description, click on Downloads, and then click on Install it. Install it. I already installed mine, so I'm not gonna do it. The next thing we're gonna wanna install is this right here it's sd memory card uh, formatter now i know a lot of people don't use this but i use it all the time because i some memory cards work different than the others and i had a lot of problems with trying to uh format the cards with these uh images and a lot of times i got error messages but i never got an error message when i use this program here when i formatted it first all right so it finished downloading so but again, let's download this here, SD memory card formatter. Scroll down here. Uh, depending on which operating system you're using, if you're using Windows or Mac, I'm sure most of us are using Windows. So click on it, download it, and install it. So I'm not going to show you guys that step. It's a pretty simple. If you guys don't know how to download and install a program, you probably don't want to try to mess with any like single board computers. First, download and install that. Then we're going to move on to the next step. So the, Again, Win32 Disk Imager, we want to download and install it. And SD Memory Card Formatter, download and install it. Links will be in the description. Now that the ROM finished downloading, we're going to go to wherever it downloaded. I think mine's is in the download folder. And yep, it's right here. NanoPi Neo Plus, whatever. NanoPi Neo Plus 2 Debian NAS, Jesse. So we got to extract it. All right, guys, you're going to need a extracting software to extract it. I recommend WinRAR. I'll, I'll just link, I'll show you guys it. All right, this is WinRAR right here. Just Google Win WinRAR. It's free. Just download it, install it. That's your third one. Most of you probably have it installed, but if you don't, install it. Now we want to open up that file again. I'm gonna double click it. I'm going to close this. We're gonna highlight it. Click on Extract to, and I'm gonna extract it to uh, the Downloads folder again. Click on OK and give it like a minute to extract. Now, we're going to close this. All right, so you guys are gonna need a micro SD card. I recommend getting at least a minimum of eight gigabytes. I have a 16 gigabyte. I recommend 16 gigabytes, but if you don't have 16, a minimum of eight gigabytes. All right, so connect it to the adapter, plug it into your memory card reader. Now we're gonna open up Win32 Disk Imager. This is the program I told you guys about. This is the program we just downloaded. Now, um, you're gonna to wanna to know your uh, drive letter Actually, before we do that, we have to format the disk. I'm sorry, let's close this. Let's open up this right here. This is an SD card formatter. We just downloaded this earlier. Click on format, right? Click yes. We're gonna open up SD card formatter. We, we just downloaded this earlier and we want a quick format. The drive letter should be selected automatically. Mine says G, click on format, click yes. And it says format was successful. Okay, close this. Now we're gonna open up Win32 Disk Imager. We downloaded that as well. Again, the SD card still has to be connected to your SD card reader. We're gonna select that drive again. Mine says G. Select your drive, whatever drive you have. Now we're gonna click on this icon here. This is a folder icon. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna search our folders for that image file we just extracted, the NanoPi Neo image file. This is mine right here. I'm gonna click on Open, and we're gonna click on Write. Then we're going to click on yes. The burning process is starting. I'm going to come back once it's finished. All right, guys. So we're going to move on to the next step. Before we can move on to this next step, we have to make sure there's a few things that we take care of. The first thing, we're going to make sure that we take our SD card, the one we just flashed and burned the image onto. We're going to take it. We're going to connect it to our NanoPi. Then we're going to connect an Ethernet cord to our NanoPi. And the final step is to power on our NanoPi. Once everything is connected and the NanoPi is powered on, we can move on to the next step. Now, the next step is to download one more thing. It's called Putty. I'm gonna open up the browser. This is the URL. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Click on this where it says download Putty. Click on the top version here where it says download it here, the latest version. Click on whether you're a Unix or a Windows installer. Most of you guys are Windows installers. I'm gonna click on the 64-bit version right here. Download the installer. Once it's finished downloading, you're gonna install it. I already installed mine, so I'm not gonna do it. Once you finish installing that, now the next step is to find our IP address of our NanoPi. To do that, I have a simple way. It'll work. I have a simple way that'll work for most of you guys. Open up a browser and type in 
the IP address of your router. Mine's is 192.168.1.1. By default, usually that's the case for everybody unless you specify a specific one. Now, uh, it will ask you for a username and password. By default, most of the routers are admin and you just have to add the password. Most of you guys have the password on the back of your uh, routers or modems, so you can just check on that if you don't already know. Now, um, I am using Fios. A lot of you guys are using Spectrum. Whatever you guys are using is pretty much similar. So, go to your like networks where it shows all the networks, all the devices are in the network. I have, I have this where it says show me more. And uh, we're gonna look for something that says friendly, friendly ELEC. That's our NanoPi, and this is the IP address of our NanoPi. Mine says 192.168.1.201. Yours could be different. I'm gonna copy it, copy yours. Now we're gonna launch Putty. So let's launch Putty. Uh, click on it. Once you've launched Putty, you're gonna see something like this. Under host name, we're gonna right click and paste our IP address of our NanoPi. Once we finish pasting and typing that in. Click open. Now it's asking us for a login. Our login is root and the password is FA. And enter, boom, that's pretty much it. We've logged into our NanoPi. And this is the Debian version of Linux installed on our NanoPi. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. In this video, I wanted to do an unboxing, show you guys like the parts, compare it to like a Raspberry Pi, do a first boot. In the next video, we're gonna run some batch marks, compare it to the Raspberry Pis and all the other single board computers I have. So if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. That's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from Rosberg Tech Tech. Comment. Thank you guys for watching.